In illustration, we have, uh, we have four different tracks. So if the student is interested, they can go into uh, one of these four tracks, and the tracks are um, product and uh, product design. So that's for more like the entrepreneur who wants to kind of do their own products and, and market them and sell them. Then there's um, editorial, which is more like uh, you know illustrating for you know for newspapers or magazines or websites or uh, you know or book covers. And then we also have uh, sequential. That's one of the department I'm in charge of, and that's comics, graphic novels, and children's books. And then we have visual development, which is for TV, films, and video games. So, uh, you know, there's quite a, quite a nice array of choices for the students to really focus on the type of illustration that they want. Well, that's one of the nice things about it being a, uh, you know, an art school within a university is there's, there's pretty much, you can do anything. And within illustration, we try to cover all areas and all aspects of the illustration field. You're not limited to one. That's that's also the case. You know, if you want to do a little bit of product design and also a little bit of visual development, that's all. You know, we have students that do that. So I mean, they can come in and kind of mix and match, which is you know great. And what the Cintiq really is is it's a, it's a digital drafting table, and you would literally draw digitally on on the monitor. So it's, it's in many ways like a big iPad. And the Riso Lab is really, I like to think of it as kind of the, uh, the child of, uh, of Xerox, Xeroxes and, um, and screen printing. You know, so you can, you can kind of do some real cool, um, get some real cool printing effects 